What's up everybody? This is John Raymond coming to you from the workshop and today I want to talk about the number one question that I've had students ask me over the years and that is how do I form a great practice routine? So what I want to do is provide you with a three-part practice routine that I recommend to all students that's going to help you make the most of your practicing so that you can become the best jazz musician that you can be. So we're going to break down the three main parts of every great practice routine into these three sets. A fundamental set, a growth set, and an exploration set. With regards to fundamentals, the three things that you want to think about as you're working on fundamentals every day are sound, technique, and flow or fluidity. If you do a myriad of exercises that can work on those things and those are your primary goals, you're going to be developing the fundamentals, the foundations of your instrument so that anything that you're trying to say from an improvisation standpoint, you can actually execute, right? You have the facility to make it happen. That's why that fundamental set is so important. Don't forsake that <laughs> because a lot of people will try to get straight to the music straight to vocabulary or transcribing and tunes and that's all really good but if you don't have that foundation on your instrument you're not going to be able to execute the things that you want to go for. Next we have to have what I like to call a growth set and this is really your opportunity to work on three things primarily. One is language, two you want to be working on style and third you also want to be working on music, learning tunes, right? So first, with vocabulary, you always want to be developing vocabulary when you practice on a daily basis. This can be lines or ideas that you've taken from transcriptions or heads or anywhere, right? And you want to be putting these things in all 12 keys, modulating them chromatically or in whole steps or around the circle or in whatever way you'd like. You want this vocabulary to start to become something that day after day, after doing this over and over again, this stuff starts to become part of your everyday language as an improviser. You also want to be working on style. And really here what I mean is you want to be playing along with records and imitating the musicians that you love to listen to. Right? And specifically imitate how they're playing what they're playing. It's not so much about the notes, but it's about the phrasing and the articulation and the dynamics and the musicality that they're using, right? Time feel, all of that, that is what makes up style. And that's something you want to be working on every day as well. And lastly, with this growth set, you want to be working on music. You want to be learning tunes, right? So set aside time in this set every day to be learning music by listening to recordings, by learning the melodies, learning the chord changes, and learning them so well, so again, that you don't have to think about it at all, so that it's internalized and you can do it on second nature. Right? It's easy and it's effortless for you. Last but not least, to round out every great practice routine, you wanna have what I like to call an exploration set. And this is really your opportunity to discover and explore things that are new to you. And this is the kind of stuff I think that really inspires you at the end of a day to keep coming back the next day and the next day and the next day to practice more and more. Right? So a couple ideas that can go into this exploration set that you could consider would be transcribing, right? Anytime that you get to try to figure out what one of your heroes is doing and try to implement that on your own, in your own context, that's really inspiring and fresh and feels exploratory, right? Another thing would just be playing along with records, right? Getting to be in the same room almost as you put those headphones on and you listen to those great records that you're in love with, just play along with those records and try to match and sound like and improvise with the musicians on those recordings. And lastly, you can take any improvisational concept that you're working on and try to go as deep as you possibly can with it, right? Some of my favorite times for me when I've been practicing have been when I've been able to take a single idea that I've taken from somebody or some recording, whether it be a melodic idea or a harmonic idea or a rhythmic idea and really try to use this in as many different ways as I possibly can and work on it so much so deeply to the point that I feel like I have complete freedom with it. That's where you want to get to with this exploration set. So to wrap it up, 
we've got three parts of our practice routine every single day. A fundamental set, a growth set, and an exploration set. This will help you have a really well-rounded practice routine where you're touching on everything that you need to get to as a musician that helps you build your arsenal of tools every single day. If you like this video, please like it or share it with anybody else that you think would enjoy it. Feel free to comment and let me know if you have any questions about anything. I'd be happy to help and we'll see you next time.